This is a children's game. It would be easier just to die. It's still nothing compared to what he did last stream. What did I do last stream? I can't remember. We got three ZZP, so we may as well do that one. Get how to get there. I mugged a turtle and uh, beat up his children while they were at turtle school. This is true. <laughs> we did do that. Uh, we'll go back right here because there's a G. I mean, he was literally asking for it. What do you mean that sounds like me? That's, that's mean. I wouldn't do that unless the game explicitly told me to. But I doesn't mean I can't enjoy it. name your characters in this game because you're always uh no th 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 this game you don't get to choose this is this is banjo and kazooie ba banjo is the bear and kazooie is the, the bird he's the sassy ladybird he's my favorite wade boots here um that's that's a okay thanks <laughs> Bird brain, yeah. Officially halfway. We got essentially half. It's like ten. There's all. There's all. There's ten levels. I think. Something like that. Okay, here. Yeah, this is Gobby's Valley. That's right. His name's Gobby. This 
eggs? Oh, yeah. there yet we just just opened one jeez Another shortcut purple where's the purple one take us oh over there okay <laughs> I mean short sure, sure sure then Can't open that one. Cauldron. Oh, there's another was Brintilda. Alright, let's get our pen and paper out. <sighs> the disgusting Gruntilda has spider pancakes. Nice. Spider pancakes. And she usually has slug stew. Breakfast and slugs. So I'll stew dinner. What bags then finishes with cockroach cockroaches and cream? Cockroaches. Spider pancake sounds like the kind of breakfast you have in Halloween. Yeah, it just sounds like just like pancakes with like chocolate, what's the chocolate syrup melted into it in a web shape <laughs> or a spider shape. That's what I would uh, call a spider, spider pancakes. Have you seen speedrunning te uh, techniques to skip most of it? Spoilers, Adrian, but uh, yeah, I have. Hello there. I'm not doing that. This is not a speedrun. 21st century guy, how's it going? Hello there. Going, but about to uh, go to Freeze Easy Peak, which is somewhere. Probably where the ice and is. Got back from Frank and Sons. I don't know what that is. You always name like these places that like I have zero like context for. <laughs> Is it a... I assume it's a fast food place. Don't think you can use these until you've found out how. Oh, okay, so yeah, we, we can't do that yet. We need the speed, speedy boots. Uh, I was like, what was that sound? It was the, um, the flight pad ending. It's a collectible shows in show in California. Basically, it's mini convention year round. Collectibles like um. Oh yeah, like rip rare shit, I guess. <laughs> That's what crackles me. Okay, cool. Uh, did you enjoy yourself? It's Christmas! Look! Uh, another move here. Oh, this, this, this move's great, but it's annoying. 
It's a wintry wonderland! Where's Matt KC? He always likes the winter levels. Oh boy! Oh, wow! Where's our presents? Our daddy Boggy said he was fetching them. He's been gone ages! Annoying kids. Oh, you can't. can't no, I'm not trying to beat children. What are you talking about? Oh, that's actually kind of cute. Ever seen a certain NPC in this level? He's famous according to someone who speedrun this. Uh, oh, you mean, um, Mr. Pants? Uh, yeah, Mr. Pants is a rare's mascot. Um, wait, no, no, no. I think that's in the other, I'm thinking of the other game. Because in, in the next game there's, um, he has a TV. Oh, nice! Send pics in the Discord 21st of the year. Love to see what you got. Oh yeah, which um which which NPC are you talking about? Um <laughs> I'll give you and chat a hint. I probably know which one you're talking about. Oh, Boggy. Yeah. Well hey, this guy. <laughs> My stomach aches. I shouldn't have eaten that shiny thing. Someone help poor Boggy. Yeah, it's this guy. Get ready for it. Oh. We just beat everyone up. It's great. Let me see. What are you doing? But that's what you do. Yes, I guess not. Okay. <laughs> Wait a buggy. We'll come back later. Ah, uh, nice 21st century. I'll, I'll check it out later. Maybe poop in his mouth? Oh, that's good. That's a good idea. Let's go poop in his mouth. <laughs> Very hard to say that with, like, serious... Oh, oh, yeah. Sure, Adrian. I meant that too. No, okay. <laughs> that didn't work, but uh, that was a good idea. I'm pretty sure we come back later. <laughs> Daniel's really confused. <sighs> We're the Twinkies. Protect us from the Twinkly Munches. <laughs> oh my God. As we hop across to our tree, if, en if enough of, of us get across, uh, we can light the tree. Oh God. Jesus Christ! <laughs> this, this game sometimes. These poor children. And the light on. Can't they just hop around holes? No, what? No, Adrian. <laughs> no. Oh, 
This would drive me crazy. Yeah. <laughs> this game is known for just being annoying sound effects. So. It's Christmas! Oh, we gotta go up. We gotta go up the tree now. There's, there's a present. Isn't the um Wait what? What was the light meant to do? Ow. Right, let's play this place out first. I'm a present! Give me to someone sad. Can I have it? <laughs> something would... But that Jiggy would disappear. Did I just do it wrong? I don't know what I did. <laughs> yeah. Good vibes to everyone. You guys, you guys all, all need a present. Fly through the um. Oh no, where's the um? <laughs> where's the flight pad? I think it's over here. I think we should have figured that out. Here we go. Christmas. Are oh, you gonna do it again? Oh no. Even though, like, everything's trying to kill us. Try not to die. Backing up. with my devastating beak bomb attack. Incredible. Nice one, girls. Tell me more. When you're flying, press A to launch Kazooie at a target like missile. Alright, yeah. This is really hard to aim. It costs red, red feathers. Okay. 
You gonna give me some feathers? Oh, you can give me some health. Isn't everything always trying to kill you in the game? I mean, not the correct seeds. Yeah, that's the thing. In most games, violence is the answer. Um, it's just easier to code that way. It's really code to, like... It's really hard to code, like, um... <laughs> no, making a diplomatic solution to a problem in the game. <laughs> gotta have feelings. Gotta code feelings in and stuff like that. Uh, would you say this is the best Spanish Kazooie game? Um, this is mo what most people prefer. I, I personally prefer Banjo Tooie, the second sequel. Um, that's kind of an unpopular opinion. The main reason people didn't like Banjo Tooie is because the world were like a little too big and empty. Like they were like the same complexity as these worlds, but they were just bigger. So they were just it was just stretched out. But I didn't I didn't really care about that because it like. That just meant movement was more important, so it became more like a speedrun, sort of. Um, overall, I think that there's some like pretty key improvements in the sequel that this game doesn't have. Alright, so we can fly, so I guess let's all murder, let's murder these snowmen. I'm doing good 21st century guy. I'm a bit tired today, unfortunately, but um, as always, we, we have fun. I get cheered up by you guys. That's that's our new move. At least this isn't nuts and bolts, am I right? I love nuts and bolts. In fact, Adrian, when it gets the time to play nuts and bolts, can I borrow your Xbox, please? <laughs> I tried to emulate it, it's just not there yet. No, I really want to play nuts and bolts. I love nuts and bolts. It's not a Banjo Kazooie game, but I love it. Love that guy. <laughs> No, it's okay. I know everybody hates nuts and bolts. Um, it's just because it was it was not a banjo game. It was a completely different game that had banjo games. It's a spin-off. If you think of it as a spin-off, then you can kind of be less salty about it. Why do I cheer you up? I suck. I mean, this is true 21st century guy, but you know, magic. It happens. But thank you. Thank you for existing. This new Xbox is out didn't show up a spare one. Like, no, even like for like a week? I mean, it's up to you, of course. It doesn't really matter. Magic is always the answer. Once again, though, I've insulted your taste. I'm genuinely sorry for. I'm not insulted at all. <laughs> Don't worry, I know people hate that game. Um, like, honestly, I knew what I was getting into when I when I wanted it. So I knew I knew it wasn't a banjo game, and I wanted Banjo Three so much as well. Wait, would you move? It's a good game. Like, it's fun. Like, it's a sandbox. It's as good as a sandbox. Yeah. Damn it. This is the problem, it's really, really hard to, um, to aim these guys. Ow. There's one. Where's this, uh, spawn? Oh yeah, that's outside, okay. <laughs> I mean, that's also, that's, um, because, um, my, my taste is pretty mainstream, let's be honest. <laughs> I, I tend to like things pe most people like. It's not, it's not, yeah, it's not hard to insult me. And also, like, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> okay, like, you could insult my taste saying, I, I don't really, I don't find Magic the Gathering appealing. Not that I don't like it, I just never played it, but I don't find it like, I'm not inclined to play that. It's just not, it's not one of my interests. But that's like, really weird way of saying, you know, <laughs> you have bad taste. It's, no, it's, it's just not your thing. It's not like, it's something good that I actively dislike, or I, I like a bad thing. Who's this guy? Yikes! A nasty, fierce bear! 
so much racism in this game. Uh, yeah, Dan, the, uh, the vehicle building game. That's uh, nuts and bolts. Yeah, it's, it's free to play, isn't it? Like, you, they make money by cars and stuff. Oh, there's, there's a mumbo, mumbo hut there. It's gonna be transforming. Ice! Icy cold. Is there another snowman? Usually... What may be like it, um... They were holding a jiggy. Oh, he pooped it out! Ew! I know, isn't it great, 21st century? I actually... I have a lot of problems with the sequel trilogy. But... The Last Jedi... Is my... Least hated one. <laughs> I could appreciate what the last year was trying to do, um, but honestly, the entire sequel trilogy, I, I don't think any of the films have good decisions in them. Like even even Episode Seven. I know people like Episode Seven. I personally found it kind of insulting. <laughs> So I, I kind of see them all on the same level, but um, I was most entertained by The Last Jedi because just random stuff happened. It was, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, same Zed. Um, I, I love the prequel trilogy, um, mostly for the memes, but also because of the Clone Wars. So that, um, so by themselves, the prequels are like, honestly, the prequels are probably worse than the sequels, let's be honest. Um, by themselves, but like when you get to the point where the world and stuff like that um, really they soon they soon like they they saved it. Okay, Mad Hatter, thank you for hanging out. You have you have a wonderful time, but I'll see you next time. I don't know where I'm going. Can we get pick up the G underneath this butt? I kind of just go on autopilot sometimes. Yeah, I would agree, Zan. I, I would agree the new one's the worst for three. Unfortunately. It's, it's very, very blatantly, like, rushed and, like, you can see it's being manipulated with... It's not, it's not a good, like, it's clearly not a vision of anyone. <laughs> oh, there's the other present. Let's go... Oh, there's uh, three of them, isn't it? It's cold! Nice warm backpack for me. Did he respawn or is this my guy? I don't know. Let's go over here. Oh, one goes hard. We won't quite do that yet. Let's get all these things first. <laughs> the thing about Star Wars though is the fan base is so huge, it's literally impossible to please everyone. But, that doesn't mean you can't please, you know, the majority, <laughs> which I don't think they, they've done either. Um, so, yeah. I really don't want to die. I need to find a... What's my point? The honeycomb dispenser thing. Oof, that was close. Why can't I get up there? Here we go.